I have a story for you today about a character that you already know. It's Pete the Cat. Take a look at the front cover. And here's the back cover. Ready? It's called Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. It's written by Kimberly and James Dean. Here's the title page, Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had 10 when they were done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, they look yummy. Oh no, hang on. Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been 10. We counted, remember? Let's see. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. Can you count again with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What happened? They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Hmm, who do you think took those cupcakes? Oh no. Just then they found a clue. Gus said, Look what I have found, sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me, it couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing, come and see. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Hmm. Seems like they have a problem. How do you think they're gonna fix it? Just then they found another clue. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Look at that. Now we have one, two, three, four. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? He and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. Hmm. Must be a ladder. 
I bet it was turtle, said Pete. I know turtle loves sweets. Was it Turtle? Turtle said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Look at that. What happened? What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. Hmm. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. He and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry, it was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Everyone agreed Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. It wasn't very nice to eat their cupcakes. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Yum. That was a nice thing to do. It's Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. The end. All right, friends, I hope you like this story, Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Make sure that you tell someone at home what happened. What happened in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end. You can also write about your favorite part of this story. Bye.